And I meant to say, I, I love that passage, uh, that verse in the song about um, St. Joseph being a good father. Congratulations to um, all you Canadians that had your first um, native-born Canadian saint. Uh, he's called the God's Doorman, and I can't remember his name, and um, I'll talk about him another time. It's true inspiration. And for him, he had lost his father at an early age, and he transferred his affection to St. Joseph. And with his prayers and his deep, deep devotion, he was able to perform great miracles to people who needed to be healed. He himself had um, um, terrible illnesses through his um, childhood, and he never really fully developed in height and size. And uh, through the physical sufferings that he had, um, later on he also loved, uh, lost his very beloved mother, um, he was under, able to understand through compassion what people were going through. And in the school where he worked, um, this is a man who had no education. He, was, um, he worked in a university um, uh, at the dormitories and he was the doorman. And his job was to give people what they wanted and what they needed. And what they needed and wanted, what he felt, um, was for them to be understood. And he prayed for them, and um, he was able to um, alleviate their pain. And sometimes, as evidenced by later on, the, um, the great church, um, they call it an oratory, that he was able to build through his um, inspiration and influence. Um, all the crutches, um, they were in the crypt in that church. He was able to cure people of their crippledness. So it's a wonderful story. And I'm so sorry. I just thought of this and I forgot the name. His name is Saint. Oh, I don't remember his name. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. But I feel so wonderful uh, um, about um, this man who um, dearly loved and um, used uh, Saint Joseph as a role model. So that's why I uh, included that verse in um, my little narrative here. Congratulations, Canadians! <laughs>